Hello again, welcome to the latest KBC vlog uh, as we continue to use this uh, beautiful little book that's been prepared for this advent, Comfort and Joy by Matt Sells. Uh, the chapter that lies before me today is Isaiah 48, which if you'll read it, you'll realise it's, it's longer than we would be able to take time for in a short vlog like this. But I do encourage you to, to go away and read it. Because in this chapter, we're presented with two groups of people. Those who listen to God and obey him, and those who turn away from God and ignore his voice. It's pretty damning for those who willfully reject God and his goodness and who choose instead sin and selfishness. But for those who do reject him, they're missing out on so many of God's promises. Listen to what God says through the prophet Isaiah in verses 18 and 19 of chapter 48. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like the river, your well-being like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would have been like the sand. Your children, like its numberless grains, their name would never be blotted out nor destroyed from before me. Peace like a river. Sounds good, doesn't it? Peace is, is actually one of the defining words of this Advent season. Think of the words that the shepherds heard from the angels as they were on the hillside that night. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. So we're promised peace. And peace would be good, wouldn't it? Because life's so challenging at times. And I know from speaking to some of you, even in recent days, that even here in KBC, people are facing difficult circumstances. And rather than it feeling peaceful, there seems to be a lot of turmoil, even uncertainty. But you can know peace. The prophet Isaiah, in his great prophecy of the coming Messiah in Isaiah 53, which we'll read in a few days' time, says this, He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Yes, Jesus, the, the bringer of our peace, had to endure something that was anything but peaceful in order that we could know peace in our lives. The baby born in Bethlehem was set on a course that would end in a brutal, bloody death on a Roman cross of torture and death. Our peace costs a heavy price. Why? Well, because to achieve our peace, we had to be reconciled to God. Our sin had caused this chasm to open up and there was a gap between our sinfulness and God's holiness. And that had to be bridged. And it could only be bridged by the holy, spotless Lamb of God. Yes, Jesus himself. Reconciliation simply means being brought back together. And that's what Jesus provides for us at the cross. Yes, there's no doubt that the world is a truly messed up place. And yes, there is a distinct lack of peace. But we can pray to the Prince of Peace, the bringer of our peace, that his peace can transform not only our lives, but our fractured society too. It can heal our hurting communities, even closer to home though. And I want you to know this today. You can penetrate our anxious and tender hearts and make us distributors of his peace to others. This Christmas, may you know peace. May you know the God of peace. May you glimpse in the manger the Prince of Peace. No God, no peace. No God, no peace. Peace like a river. May God bless you today. Thanks for watching.